The law of signs states that the ratios sine of angle A, here we have an angle A, over its opposite side, and here's our side A, and the sine of angle B and its opposite side and the sine of angle C and its opposite side are all equal. These ratios are all equal. And we can put the sine of the angle on the top of these ratios and the sides, the opposite sides on the bottom, or we can put the sides on the top and then the signs of the corresponding angles on the bottom. Now, how is this useful? Well, this is useful whether we have a right triangle or not. Here it says to use the law of sines to find the indicated side x. So here is side x, and here's what we know. We know that angle A is 37.5 degrees. We know that angle B is 28.1 degrees. And we can find angle C because we know that the sum of all of the interior angles for a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle C will be 114.4 degrees. Now let's assume that side A is 11. Then we'll find sides B and C. And the thing that we're actually asked to find here is x, which will be the side that is opposite angle C. So really what we're looking for is side C. So we'll look at what we have available to us. We have these forms of the law of sines, and we're looking for side C. So probably the best thing to do then will be to take a couple of things that we know, like side A and angle A, and use this ratio, since we also know the angle that is opposite side C that we're looking for. So in other words, we also know that angle C is 114 degrees. So this is what we'll write then. A over sine A, so side A over the sine of angle A, is equal to C over the sine of angle C. And so we'll just fill these things in then. We have 11 over the sine of 37 and a half degrees is equal to C, or in other words, X, what we're looking for here, the side opposite angle C over the sine of angle C, which is 114.4 degrees. So in order to solve for x, we will multiply both sides by the sine of 114.4 degrees to get that to cancel out. So sine of 114.4 degrees. So that cancels here. And then we'll just use a calculator to solve for x. So the first thing we'll need to do is, is hit mode and make sure that we are in degree mode. So we'll make sure that degrees is highlighted. Then we'll hit second quit. And we will multiply 11 by the sine of 114.4 degrees. And then divide that by the sine of 37.5 degrees. And that gives us 16.5 if we round to one decimal place.